a demon on guard. Looking like I still do fraud. Flying private jet with the rod. It's that Z shit. It's that Z shit. Hey, girl. And hey, boy. <laughs> Justin brought it to my attention that men do watch my videos. <clears throat> Only 4.3%. But I don't want to exclude anyone in my welcoming, so hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. So basically, I'm going to be showing you all from the beginning to end how I achieved this perm rod set. So if you want to see how I did the hairstyle I just took out, then I'll leave it listed above and in the description box. Okay, so this is my hair after I've taken out the braids and buns. I'm just fluffing it out before I wet my hair to officially start the process. So I actually only rinsed out the gel and other products I had in my hair from the wash and go I did. I just wanted to make sure my hair is not too covered in product before I pre-poo my hair. In one of my latest hair videos, I showed you how I pre-poo my hair with aloe from an aloe vera leaf. So I'm just repeating the same process here. I did notice since doing this step before I washed my hair, it reduced the amount of dirt that would accumulate before my next wash day. I actually don't even use shampoo when I do this step because aloe contains moisturizing and cleansing properties, which promotes hair growth, prevents itchy scalp, reduces dandruff while also conditioning the hair. So I highly recommend this step for natural hair. And honestly, I probably won't be buying shampoo ever again. <laughs> if y'all know me y'all know i just be goofing around when i film but the perm rods i'm gonna be using today are the white and the pink ones i actually don't know the sizes of them so i do apologize but anyway moving on i'm going to be starting from the front of my hair and working my way around to the bike I'm not doing any fancy parting with this. I'm just taking sections of my hair, putting all my little products on it and rolling it around in little perm rods. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is just lightly, very, very lightly spraying my hair with some water. I know I normally use aloe vera juice, but since I ran out and I just restocked again, but for the video, I used water. Then I take my little oil mixture that y'all already know about. And then after that, we take some little bit of mousse you know, maybe like a quarter size, nothing too, nothing too crazy. And then the last thing is some type of cream. Today I will be using Silk Elements Luxury Moisturizing Leave-In Hair Cream. And once I have all that on my hair, I just work it into my hair a little bit and then I begin wrapping it around the perm rod. So b -b -b basically that's it. And I'm just gonna let y'all enjoy this little beat that my friend put together. Shout out to Jacoby, aka trying to be a legend out on Instagram. Go follow him. He makes the dopest beats you ever heard. But yeah, just go ahead and enjoy me perm riding my hair for a little bit. And then I'll come back. I'll come back. You know, I'll come back and talk to y'all towards the end. Oh yeah, there was one more thing I forgot to mention. I do use the Shine and Jam conditioning gel around the ends of my hair just to seal it around the perm rod so it doesn't unravel, you know, as it's drying and things like that. So yeah, enjoy the music and I'll be back a little bit towards the end.
did you miss me girl i am a whole mess anyway so this was like two days later but it's time to take these bad boys out Okay class, it's time to take down our perm rods. So what you want to do, always, always, always make sure your hands are coated. I mean coated with oil before you take down anything on your hair, okay? I don't remember exactly what I got in my oil mix, but um, it's a lot of stuff. So yeah, we're just taking out the perm rods now and I'll show you how I separate them. A A A A Welcome back to my channel Bitch I'm so hot I had to take off my flannel I'm lit like a candle You niggas can't handle me Send me some more beats so I can spit another sample A <laughs> Somebody sign me right now okay <laughs> So what I do after I finish separating my hair is take my pick and start fluffing out my curls from the roots. I'm just picking it into the shape of my choice. And then to make it look a little more rounded, I take the pieces of my hair at the crown of my head and bobby pin them together so it gives me that rounded shape. Thank you all so much for watching i hope you like this video make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel because i'm lit okay bye